Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hero who killed Bin Laden just unloaded on Meghan McCain will haunt her for life. Robert J. O'Neill is a former United States Navy sailor, a former U.S. Navy SEAL and special warfare operator. O'Neill was the one who fired the headshots that killed Osama bin Laden during the raid on his Abbottabad compound on May 2, 2011. He's also a true hero that never claimed to be a victim or used it for political gain. O'Neill didn't have much to say about John McCain's funeral as far as I know. But the one tweet I did see was epic and it had to do with Meghan McCain and the way she took cheap political shots at President Trump during her father's funeral. O'Neill tweeted, If my daughter uses my funeral to take petty political jabs, I'm definitely going to haunt her. The answering tweets were epic and I could not agree more with his sentiment here. Shame on Meghan McCain and the others who took a time of remembering and grieving for John McCain and turned it instead into a political hate fest. This should haunt her the rest of her life. The New York Post mocked Meghan McCain as the Meg on its Sunday cover after she behaved in such a disrespectful and disgraceful fashion. If you don't get what they are alluding to, the Meg is a reference to a plus-sized shark in the late summer hit movie The Meg starring Jason Schtam. It was not meant to be subtle but it is viciously clever. The New York Post and former Navy SEAL Robert J. O'Neill were not alone either in the brewing backlash against McCain and others who decided to go political during the funeral service for Senator John McCain, R. Raz. It turned into some kind of partisan resist rally Saturday when speakers such as Barack Obama and George W. Bush decided to take jabs at President Trump, who was not invited to the funeral. Americans noted that John McCain's 2008 running mate, Sarah Palin, was also not invited. But at the invitation of Senator Lindsey Graham, Ivanka and her husband Jared did attend and sat there as their father and family were humiliated over and over again. The McCains are notorious for holding a grudge and for their unbounded anger. When other legendary military figures such as O'Neill are disgusted like this, you know you've gone way too far. True heroes in my book don't use their service and sacrifice to climb political ladders for power and wealth. Meghan described the death of her father as the passing of American greatness. The real thing, not cheap rhetoric from men who will never come near the sacrifice he gave so willingly, nor the opportunistic appropriation of those who lived lives of comfort and privilege while he suffered and served. Meghan added, The America of John McCain has no need to be made great again because America was always great. President Trump's response to Meghan was only four words. But those words shamed her once again. He said, Make America great again. Barack Obama, who has probably never been subtle in his life, ripped into those he said traffic in bombast and insult and phony controversies and manufactured outrage. John called on us to be bigger than that. He called on us to be better than that, he added. Isn't it odd how adoring the left is of John McCain now that he's gone? One of the things that McCain did to strike back at President Trump was to violate his long-standing and oft-repeated promise to voters to repeal Obamacare. In July of 2017, McCain would not keep his promise and instead voted against the repeal of Obamacare. McCain reportedly said to Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, DNY, let's see Donald make America great again now, which was an obvious reference to the president. As McCain betrayed the pledge that he made to the American people, he got his revenge on Trump or at least he thought he did. His lone vote was the one that saved Obamacare and devastated most Americans over it. That's a heck of a legacy and it has nothing to do with valor, courage or loyalty. Bush was a bit more subtle in his attack. He described McCain as a man who respected the dignity inherent in every life, a dignity that does not stop at borders and cannot be erased by dictators. You get the drift here. The audience, which should have been somber and dignified in their honoring the passing of McCain applauded as if they were at a political rally or a campaign stop rather than a funeral for a legitimate war hero and long-term senator. Many in the media and the political elite were there. I totally understand O'Neill's disgust at Meghan's and others' behavior, it dishonored John McCain and it was petty. Many people were shocked and saddened that a war hero's death would be treated so shabbily by his daughter. But then again. Like father like daughter. Meghan's grief is no excuse here. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.